favorites tag for you. There are a lot of different variations of the tag, but I got the questions from Jaclyn Hill's video that she recently did, because you gotta love Jaclyn Hill. So, let's get right into it. Okay, yeah, I have the questions here on my tablet. I don't know if you can see that, but anyways, the first question is your favorite candle. And as much as I love Bath & Body Works candles, they're like hella expensive, so... I still love them. I have a few. My favorite is coconut leaves, but that's not fall related. So let's get to the real reason why we're here. My favorite fall candle is this, actually, this candle from a company called Candle Copia. They sell natural soft wax candles. And my absolute favorite one is this one. It's almost finished. In the scent, pumpkin souffle. Oh my gosh. This candle, it's just fall. Like, fall in a little tin it smells like you can literally like they put this in the description i got this off of amazon i'll link where i got it from down below but you can literally smell like the butter and the eggs like it smells like a cake but a pumpkin souffle cake and it's so good you can literally taste it anyways back to why we're here the next question is what is your favorite fall lip color i couldn't choose one so i picked two this first one is obvious, a dark burgundy lip. This is Sin by MAC, which I haven't worn yet, and it's fall. I should have worn this by now, but I actually forgot I had it. But then when I heard this question, I'm like, wait, Sin, I love this lipstick. It's a matte, and it's a, a burgundy, and it's gorgeous. I really, 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 really love this lipstick. Yeah, and the next one, it's not a your average Bur dark burgundy lip it's it actually reminds me of like lolita by kat von d or just that you know that lip color that everybody's been feeding over lately but this is a sephora matte lipstick in the color brown is back and i love the formula for these lipsticks although they're matte they're not drying they're really really creamy but this is the brown is back right there and it's so 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 pretty it's creamy it, it goes on really creamy and then it slowly dries to that matte finish and i love this lipstick and i think it was like 12 or 13 dollars which is not too bad for sephora so sin and brown is back the next question is your favorite fall drink and i wish i had it here with me but i don't but my favorite fall drink i think is the white hot chocolate from dunkin donuts it's so good it's kind of sweet but i really love it and um but i don't even think it's out yet even though it's a fall drink I don't think it comes out until later in winter because I was going to try and buy it so I can show it to you in the video, but I don't think it's back. So when it comes back, you'll see me with it. Next question. Favorite blush. This blush by a company called La Femme in the shade Sienna. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me use this in a billion tutorials. I really, really, really love this lipstick. I bought it because I was going to buy um, Max Raisin Blush, but Max Raisin Blush is $30, so I tried to look for a dupe, <laughs> and I found this, and it's the same color, like literally, don't even waste your money, get this. This was $3, and the pigmentation is amazing, it looks exactly like it, I'll swatch it really quickly for you, look at that, <gasps> pigmented, I mean, I'll just put it right there, it's it's like a, a mauve kind of burgundy color. It looks darker in the pan, but you can build it up to this. And it's just like, actually looks kind of like the lipstick, but it's not. That's just how the camera's showing it up. But it's a really deep mauve burgundy-ish kind of color. Love that. And next question is your favorite clothing item. Again, I couldn't pick one, so I picked two. Wait, I want to wipe this off my hands. Hold on. Whatever. I'll just put some blush on my leg. I always do this. Anyways, my favorite fall clothing item. So I chose two. I chose a scarf and a cardigan. I don't think anybody should not have a circle scarf. Like, everybody should have a circle scarf. It's so... I was going to say so, and then I was going to say super. I was going to say it's super warm. <laughs> it's super warm. It's really, really soft. I think I got this from, yep, yeah, H&M. But it's really soft, really warm, really big, and this color just looks great on everybody. So, it's like, it's not even white, it's like a cream color, but get you a scarf, get you a circle scarf. 
And last clothing item is this humongous cardigan that I got from the sale section in Forever 21. I think it, it was like $20, but it's this is like good quality. Like it's heavy, it's warm. I've literally been wearing this to bed for the past couple nights. It has been cold. And yeah, I love this cardigan. So huge cardigans like this, I wear them all winter. Next question. Favorite fall movie? Ooh, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna say a f scary fall movie. Well, it's not really a fall movie, but I like to watch scary movies. So I would say like insidious or the conjuring those two are like top five scary <laughs> so i picked those and then for fall tv show favorite fall tv show i would say how to get away with murder because that came back recently and it's crazy so if you guys are not watching that check it out because it's bomb um i've been watching the vampire diaries lately i don't know why i watched it i used to watch it a couple years ago then I stopped and now I started all over on Netflix and I've just become obsessed all over again. So I would say that's my favorite fall movie because I like vampires and I like that show. And another show I've been liking is American Horror Story. I've been watching that for a while now. And a new season just started Hotel. And if you get creeped out easily, don't watch it. That show is creepy as fuck. It's scary. Yeah. And it's weird, but that's beyond the, besides the point. If you like scary kind of weird shows, I would check it out. But if not, then stay away. <laughs> so those are the three shows. And favorite Thanksgiving food? Everything. Like, they're all my favorite. Um, I like sweet potatoes. My grandma makes the best candy yams. Um, turkey ham. She makes the best turkey ham and macaroni pie so i could like leftovers the next day those are the three things that have to be my plate hopefully they're not finished but they always have to be my plate and favorite halloween costume i swear every year i try to be different i'm like you know what i'm gonna do something different this year for halloween and every year i dress up as a vampire like it's <laughs> every year literally every year i dress up as a vampire and then I think last year or the year before, like I did my nieces, my niece and my cousin, they were both dressed up as vampires, so I did their makeup for it. If I still have the picture, I'll insert it somewhere around there, but that was really fun. And then I'm every year, vampire, vampire. So this year, I'm gonna try to be different. My cousin had a costume that didn't fit her for a cat, so I might do that. I don't know, it's a little, it's a little raunchy. Like the whole back is like cut out, and then it has like a little tail off of it. It's cute, but. My butt is kind of big, so it's going to look. So depending on where we're going, I will be a cat, but I'll see. And I think that's it. Yep, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. If you guys like this look, it's coming soon. Yeah. This is Manny Moi inspired, by the way. I love him. So he did an olive green smoky eye the other day, and I died for it. It was so pretty. It was, it was so pretty. Yeah, it was really pretty. So I'm like, I gotta buy this makeup geek eyeshadow, and then I got it. So that's what this is. But I don't know which one I'm gonna put up first. I'll either put up this first, or this is gonna be easier to edit. So this video will probably be up before the makeup look, but it's coming soon though. So stay tuned. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!